made a bit of a mistake there, was not focusing properly. Some wraiths and other monsters can take on immaterial. Okay. Yeah, let's do that one again. Really did not focus properly on that. Focus, Jack. Actually, do actually play the fecking game <laughs> of the messing around here. First things first, Quen up. Mage will be a relatively easy one to deal with afterwards. Oof. Okay. What the fuck? I'm just getting turned into a pincushion at this point. Oh. This is really not that hard a fight. Okay. Okay, let's back off for a second. Back off. Oh, that mage is really getting on my nerves. Okay. What do I actually have on me? Uh, Alchem. No, oh, inventory jack. First things first. Where's my Diameritium? Taking the piss now. Okay, he dies first.
Yep. There we go. Throw went on. Okay. Let me strike you, you bugger. Not sure how to do this. Perfectly honest. You obviously can block anything I send it. Okay. Okay, first things first. Let's back off a little bit. Back off a bit. Back off again.
Okay. Jesus. That took way longer than it ever should have. I have to remind myself not to not to mess around sometimes. So letty from letter from the old fairy merchant. Oh, uh, fleeing planets. I don't know if you're still around, and I'm sorry if I didn't like see that. But yeah, Axie would have been smart. <laughs> I used R instead, but thank you very much, fleeing planet. That would have been uh, quite useful to actually look over. I was quite, I was a bit focused. <laughs> Um, okay, so Verna, Verna, Perna, whatever they the, they call you. No idea. No idea have I why the most gracious crown mage Ahmad designated all people you as our liaison. The argument that you best know this land, being Nordling yourself, do not, I find, in the least bit convincing because Adian has much to do with Arnia as Ericania has with Ophir, namely nothing. As the wishes of his graciousness are not to be disputed, I beseech you, I try to deliver to him this message. Our camp we have staked near Brunwich, a village. Keeping with the orders given by the court and his graciousness, knowledge and goods of our lands we now share with the local populaces. Sadly, as to their mental capacities, my predications rightly judged. So I renew my request for permission to travel towards a greater urban settlement where our knowledge and experience may will be better appreciated. Ooh. New Game Plus and Death March. That must be... E oh, I don't know if I... I don't know if I ever put it in the uh, stream info, because it's useful to know. This is quite literally... No, I've not got it in the stream info. This is quite literally the very first time I've ever played The Witcher 3 all the way through. I started it a couple of times... And I really wanted to kind of get into it, but it just didn't quite grip me. Then I read the books, fell in love with the world, came back to the game, thought I'll stream it from start to finish, every aspect that I can find, and take it from there. And I've been, uh, I have been loving it. This is, uh, I just wish I could stream more, if I'm perfectly honest. More of a hobby than anything else for me, you see, unfortunately, so... Yeah, I've heard the Blood and Wine DLC is very, very good. Right. Might have been helpful to actually throw my armor on as well. But yes, I've been enjoying this and I've been recording and streaming every single aspect of it. It's taken me a very, very long time because I don't get to stream that much. But yeah, that guy was a bit of a bastard to kill. <laughs> What's this map look like? Oh, I'm still in Novigrad. Thought I would stay here, but they were doing the sailing, and I was—I assumed I'd be moving. Yes, I'm very, very close towards the end of the main game, but from what I've read, everything tells me play play Hearts of Stone before the end of the before you finish the main game, Let's go. and then Blood and Wine after you finish the main game. In here. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna stay there. Blood and wine is the only one with a new country. Go, go. Yeah. I thought that was the case. But again. Quite literally blind playthrough. I just occasionally look up at this and that here and there if there's something I think that's a little bit off. A little bit weird, and I just want to play it in a certain way, but yeah, this is so much fun. I know why everyone tells me I should have played this game way, way, way earlier. But no, thank you very much for your advice there, Fleeing Planets. I will remember I've got more than just Quen and Ard. <laughs> randomly turns up wherever I need her. All I do is rag her around the entire countryside. You 
Okay. Oh, at midnight. Of course. Let's meditate till midnight. Ooh, the Viper School here, full set. And I mean, if don't, obviously no spoilers, I'm not looking to get any spoilers, but give me an idea of what's the right direction to head, hopefully I might come across it. Because I want to come across as much of this cool stuff as I can. Hello, you terrifying you, creature. You a soothsayer? It matters little who I am. Your escape, I made it possible. Previously, Yennefer, you found her thanks to me, so you feel you owe me. Memento you gave me. Pretty effective reminder. That is its purpose. <laughs> Incidentally, I find it quite funny how even the most rotten scoundrels have this inner temptation to repay debts of gratitude. Humans, elves, dwarves, all races. You really must explain that to me one day. As for the here and now, tell me, how do you manage with your theories? <sighs> mm hmm. Yeah. Summon that you storm. appeared out of nowhere, disappeared just as mysteriously, summoned a storm. Let me guess, you're a mage. Oh, please, no. I cannot stand spells. Childish hocus pocus. It's just not interesting. What I find fascinating are true tales, true human lives, like the one I shall tell you now. Story time. It's about a man. Worse than most. A vulgar, despicable man with a heart of stone. A man who refuses to pay his debts. Really think this will interest me? Any reason why? He's wronged you as well. His name is Olgierd von Everick. Okay. It's in the end, no spoilers as you say. Fair enough. I respect that. A lot of people will just immediately tell me absolutely everything possible and probably ruin aspects of uh, the storyline for me, so thank you very much. Definitely uh, take my time, especially towards the end. What did old... What did old Gerd do to get on your shit list? How do you know he wronged me? Yeah, I'm more interested in old what Gerd on his shit you? list. Before I reveal this, I'd like to make one thing very clear. Olgier von Everick did willfully and maliciously conspire to cause you to kill a man who might have been cured. Had I not intervened, you would have lost your head for this. Do you know hey. why he did it? Because he's a degenerate monster in human flesh who feeds on the pain and suffering of others. I mean, that's well, obvious. You clearly don't like him. What did he do to you? He and I made a pact. A pact under which I called on my many talents and associates to give him what he desired. And now the time's come to pay. Yet, he shirks his obligation. Need me to collect a debt? I'm not some hired muscle. Muscle is not hmm. what this requires. It needs a soul intelligent and clever. An individual who fears no dare. Someone like you. Pure flattery, that. Of course it is. After all, I am a traveling merchant, but make no mistake, I have many interesting wares on offer. Wares <laughs> like? Surfeit. Abundance for the body and soul. You will lack neither food nor drink. As a witcher, you might desire weapons supreme. I can huh? offer you those you've dreamt of. Your body, agile as never before. Your mind, faster than lightning. Romantic prowess to charm all womankind. But above all, I offer a great, true adventure. An experience like no other. The fate of only the chosen few. Hell, I'd sure probably sounds generous. This. 
And all that for my help with one small matter. Won't want anything else from me? Just one. Honesty. Okay. What have you done for Old Gear? What did you do for Old Geard? Break him out of a cell too? In some sense, yes. I remember that day quite well. It was a light drizzle, yet the cold tore right through you. Old Geard appeared at the break of dawn, gaunt as a rail, his shirt mothy. Seemed to have naught but the sword at his side. It quite pained me to look at him. He asked for help. And help I gave. Made him a rich man, successful, esteemed. He is who he is today, thanks only to me. Okay. And afterwards, he turned his back, shunned me, sends me off when I dare ask for payment. Even sicked his hounds on me once. He's thus left me no option but to invoke the terms of our pact. And that is where you come in. Who the hell is this guy? I... He's making me feel very, very uncomfortable. He's done an extremely good job of writing this guy. Huh. How much does he owe you? <laughs> Gentlemen, don't discuss coin. Need to know the details if you want me to get my hands dirty. How much? A million crowns? Two million? I'm no usurer to lend coin for interest. No. What Allgeard owes me is far more personal than shiny things that clink. As much as I regret it, I can say no more. I must respect his privacy. This guy's dangerous. Know what? This business, it's between you two. Rather not get involved. Before you decide, please, hear me out. You shall see Allgeard as a vile man. Or, as they say in the West, a real son of a whore. <laughs> okay, then. What about you? Call yourself a man of many talents? Can't you take care of this? Therein lies the catch. Our pact states that before I can collect my due, I must yet fulfill three wishes for Von Everick. But I cannot fulfill them myself directly, making use instead of a... Hmm, how shall I put it? A proxy. Mm-hmm. So what you need's a sucker. What I need is an ally. And something tells me I shall find none better than you. What do you expect me to do? To start with, join me in paying Von Everick a visit. Then, well, then we shall improvise. I believe, however, that all will end well. And, once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. Right. Specifics now. Thought Olgeard had three wishes, requests, whatever. Uh, he does. He may ask three things of us. Yet, we won't know what they are until we see him. Yeah, I don't like this. <sighs> all seems a little shady. Your help, your pact with Olgeard, his three requests. Think it over. I agree, you've no a priori reason to trust me. But, as it happens, I was in the right place at the right time to help you. And it's also the case that the same man has wronged us both. To my mind, those are reasons to work together. To my mind, not so much. Come with me to see all geared. You shall see he's a vile, dishonorable man who treats the lives of all folk like playthings. As he treated yeah, you was when he sent you to find the Frog Prince. Okay, I get a feeling. Fine, I'll go see. I can't with really you, say but no, no promises. That is all I ask. Now remove the damn mark. Naturally, just as soon as you complete your task. Go. You will not regret it. We shall meet there. I have a matter to attend to along the way. Another debt to collect? Perhaps. <sighs> Level 36, nice. Uh, 
jump into character. Upgrade that. Seventeen. Seventeen points in practice. Oh, typical. Points in branch seventeen. Okay. And I I'll look at all that later. Okay, well. This is very, very creepy. Stuff is good. I've got. No. Where am I? Not that far from Olgird. Have a quick go and see if I can kill. Let's run up a few levels since I tried fighting it earlier. So maybe it won't be quite such a slog. Move it. 